An iPhone stuck on the Apple logo can feel like a dead end, especially when it happens during an update or out of nowhere. Whether it's caused by a failed software installation, full storage, or something more serious, there's no need to panic. I'll guide you through clear and practical solutions. From quick fixes to advanced troubleshooting, to get your iPhone back up and running. The first thing to try is a force restart, also known as a hard reset. It's simple, free, and safe, though it might not fix more serious issues. If you're using an iPhone 8 or newer, quickly press and release the volume up button, then do the same with the volume down button, and finally press and hold the side button until the Apple logo reappears. For iPhone 7 models, press and hold the volume down button and the side button at the same time until the Apple logo appears. If you're using an older model like the iPhone 6S, press and hold both the home button and the power button until you see the Apple logo. Make sure your phone has enough charge for this step. If it's low, plug it in and wait about 15 to 20 minutes before trying again. If a force restart didn't work, the next step is to use a computer with iTunes or Finder. Start by connecting your iPhone to your computer using a lightning cable. Once it's connected, put your phone into recovery mode. If you're using an iPhone 8 or newer, quickly press and release the volume up button, then the volume down button, and finally press and hold the side button until you see the connect to computer icon on the screen. For iPhone 7, press and hold the volume down and side button together until you see the same icon. On older models, press and hold the home button and the power button until the icon appears. Now, open iTunes or Finder on your computer, and you should see a prompt offering two options, update or restore. Start with the update option to try and fix the issue without erasing your data. This will download the latest iOS version and install it on your device. However, if the update doesn't work, or you see errors like 4013 or 14, you'll need to choose the Restore option. Keep in mind that this will erase all your data and reset your iPhone to factory settings. So it's best to use this option only if you have a backup or as a last resort. That's it for this video on fixing an iPhone stuck on the Apple logo. I hope these steps and solutions help you get your device back to normal. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe for more practical tech guides. Have any questions or tried a method that worked for you? Share your experience in the comments below. I'd love to hear from you. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.